Welcome back to my channel, Math in Language, and we're going to tackle Future Value, the Simple Interest. So for Future Value in Simple Interest, we have the two formulas. So the first one is Future Value is equal to the principal, times mo siya sa quantity ng 1 plus rate times time. Yung second naman is Future Value is equal to the principal plus interest. FB means Future Value. Ang I natin is interest amount. P is for principal, or also called present value. R natin is rate, and T is for time. But for this video, we're going to use P for principal. Sa ibang textbook, that will be PV, or present value. Alright, so let's have an easy one muna. Example number one. Sora deposited $2,000 in a bank and will have an interest amount of $50. What is the future value? So, ang meron ka lang dito si Gibbon is yung principal kasi nag-deposit siya ng pera. So, ito yung principal. And we'll have an interest amount of $50. So, from the word itself, interest amount. So, ito na yung I natin sa so formula. So, paano natin hinanapin yung future value? We have the formula naman na FV, future value, is equal to the principal plus interest. So, we add lang natin yung principal plus interest to get the future value. So, Place that in formula, and next one, we're going to substitute it. So, future value is equal to 2,000 plus 1 of 50, and the answer is $2,050. So, that's the future value in this example. Alright, so example number 2 tayo. Kyrie deposited $3,000 with an interest rate of 5%. What is the future value after 10 years? So, we have the given, the principal is $3,000. We also have the interest rate. And we also have the time. So we can use the formula. Future value is equal to the principal times the quantity 1 plus RT. Now we have the formula. We can now substitute the given. So future value is equal to 3,000 times the quantity ng 1 plus 0 0.05 times 10. So when I mo yung pag multiply ng 0 0.05 times 10, that will be 0.5. Pa plus ming 1, that will be 1.5. So Magiging 3,000 times 1.5. So the final answer for the future value is 4,500. So kung nag-deposit ka ng $3,000, so kung nag-deposit ka ng $3,000 sa banko, so yung dineposit mo, yung principal. Tapos may interest rate daw na 5%. At makukuha mo lang daw ito after 10 years kung wala ka naman dineposit na iba pa. So nag-deposit ka lang one time, for a simple interest, makukuha mo siya after 10 years, magiging 4,500 na yung pera mo. Alright, so example number 3 tayo. Riku deposited $500 with an interest rate of 10%. What is the future value after 5 months? So what is the future value daw after 5 months? Kung meron kang principal ng $500 at interest rate mo ay 10%. So we have the rate, the time, and the principal. We can use the formula. Future value is equal to the principal times mo sa quantity ng 1 plus RT. Okay, so substitute na natin yung given. We have the future value is equal to 500 times mo sa quantity ng 1 plus uh, times mo tong dalawa na to. 0 0.05 times mo ng 5 over 12. Okay, saan nang galing yung 5 over 12? Remember, ang time palagi sa mga interest ay nakadepend sa year. Okay, so there are 12 months in a year. Kasi ang sa given mo kasi is 5 months lang. So, that's a fraction of it eh. Hindi siya buong year. Hindi siya pwedeng 1 year. So, 5 months lang. So, that will be 5 over 12. Okay? So, yung 0 0.05 to times natin sa 5 over 12, tapos so plus natin ng 1, ang magiging sagot dyan ay 1.02083, repeating decimal na 3. I suggest na you have to do it tuloy-tuloy, okay? So, Tapos, yung sagot niyan, multiply natin ng 500, and the final answer will be 510.42. So, kung nag-deposit ka daw ng $500 sa banko, na simple interest lang, ah, 10%, magkano mo makukuha ito after 5 months? So, maging 510.42 na ito. Okay, so example number 4 tayo. Donald deposited $2,000 with an interest rate of 20%. What is the future value after 73 days? Okay, this one, we have the principal, we have the rate, and we have also have the time. But this one, 
days naman tayo. So, hindi naman siya ganun nangyayirap. Don't worry. So, nagin natin yung formula, future value is equal to principal times mo sa quantity na 1 plus RT. Next, we have to substitute it. So, future value is equal to 2,000 times mo sa quantity na 1 plus mo dun sa pag multiply natin yung RT. So, rate is 20%. That will be 0.20 or 0 0.2. And day style, so 73 over 365. Since there are 365 days in one year. So, for that one, multiply lang natin sila parehas. 0 0.2 times 73 over 365. Plus mo ng 1, the answer is 1.04. Ngayon, multiply natin ng 2,000 and you will have an answer of $2,080. Okay, in this problem, ginamit ko muna yung over 365. Ginamit ko muna yung exact interest. Meron tayong tinatawag kasing ordinary interest and exact interest. But for this one, let's use 365 muna for the convenience. So going back to the problem, if you deposited daw ng $2,000 na may interest rate ng 20% at gusto mo daw siyang kunin after 73 days, yung 2000 mo magiging $2,080 na. Alright, so it's your turn and mini quiz tayo. So the question is, Goofy deposited $1,000 with an interest rate of 1%. What is the future value after 1 year and 3 months? So I'll give you 5 to 10 seconds. You may want to pause the video naman and after that, I will give you the answer as well as the solution. Time's up. So the answer is, the future value will be 1,012.50. Alright, so I'll explain how did I arrive sa 1,012.50 na sagot. So, analyzing the question, we have the principal, we have the rate, and we also have the time. So for that one, we can use the formula future value is equal to P times 1 ng 1 plus RT. Next one, substitute mo yung given. So, future value is equal to 1,000 times the quantity 1 plus, tapos pag multiply mo itong dalawa, 0 0.01 kasi 1%. Ngayon, 1 year and 3 months is 1 plus 3 over 12. Ang given mo is 3 months. There are 12 months in a year. So, fraction of it, 3 over 12. Sa calcul nyo, 3 over 12 is just 0.25. Ngayon, add mo yung 1, that's 1.25 na. Ngayon, next one, you multiply 0 0.01 and the answer, lagyan mo ng 1. Add mo ng 1. And you will have an answer of 1,012.50 or 1,012.5. So, kung ikaw daw nag-deposit ng $1,000 with an interest rate of 1% lang, simple interest, magkana daw yung future value niya after 1 year and 3 months. So, mong kuha mo ay 1,012.50. And that's the end of the lesson about future value simple interest. Next video natin will be about finding principal sa future value simple interest din. Okay, so itong video na to is about future value. Ang next video natin, ahanapin naman natin paano naman kung principal lang hinahanap. Okay? So if you would like to comment or suggest another math and language video or kung may assignment kayo, please comment down below. Again, this is James, your math and language instructor. Please like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.